Hello and welcome to another Kriarchus' First Impressions. This time we're taking a look at the Space Hulk Ascension Successor Chapter um, DLC. Now, first thing to note about this is that the, chap the Successor Chapter Pack gives you four new chapters. It gives you the Nova Marines, the Flesh Terrors, the Crimson Fists, and the Angels of Redemption. However, and this is the important bit, there are no new campaigns and they are essentially direct copies of their progenitor chapters. The Nova Marines are basically just Ultramarines. The Flesh Terrors, Blood Angels. The Crimson Fists, Imperial Fists. The Angels of Redemption, the Dark Angels. So they have exactly the same traits and chapter focuses. Everything about them is pretty much identical. Now. What we'll do is we'll have a look <clears throat> at each chapter in turn and just have a look at any unique customization options that they might bring and then we'll call it a day. So let's start with the Nova Marines. And as you can see when this comes up, as you can see there's no extra chapters, uh, chapter specific hulks here. It was just purely the same ones that you would normally have access to depending upon of course which DLCs you've purchased. So we're going to jump in here and let's check out the appearances. We're going to set everything to one and go from there. So it looks like they've got a unique face here. And that's pretty much it. Five heads. Five heads. Yeah, five heads there. So it looks like they have two unique heads. This one's got kind of a laurel wreath on by the looks of it. And you can see some slight writing on the shoulder pads etc. Let's have a look at the bodies. We've got this quartered design going on in terms of coloration. Some minor changes, nothing going on on the back that I can see. And wow you only get what? Four bodies. And that even says McCrag there. So they haven't even changed that bit. Okay. Adornments. This is feeling very, very much like the Ultramarines adornments off the top of my head. So yeah, okay. So there's not a great deal there, is there? Um, it's just, yeah, so you've got not much with the Nova Marines. And in fact, I don't think, and you do have the Librarian, let's just check him. And so basically his only change is he's got a big Big belt buckle in different colours. So there you go. Not really that much with the Nova Marines. They all look pretty much identical to the Ultramarines except for some slight colour changes. Let's have a quick look, jump out to the main menu again and take a quick look at the next one. The Flesh Terrors. Who are, of course, the Blood Angels. Jump in here. Oh, pardon me, got hiccups. So, appearance scan. Let's cycle through to number one on all of these. So, a little bit different in terms of coloration again. The armor is more kind of a claret kind of color, I suppose. Although his glove looks to be, maybe it's just the way the light catches it, but his glove most definitely appears to be a different color. Maybe that's intentional. Don't know. Don't know that much about the Flesh Terrors chapter. Helmets. There's not much going on really. Okay, the head adds that little bit there. Pretty standard fair sanguinous. Sanguinous, however you should pronounce it, sanguinous. I believe that these are pretty much identical to the Blood Angels ones. You do have this kind of terror icon there, which is quite nice. Same blood drops as you'd find on the Blood Angels and Adornments. Again, very, very similar to the Blood Angels iconography and adornments. Lots of bling, except for their gold is perhaps even more um, saturated perhaps than the others. And I think, is their Librarian actually? I think the Librarian is pretty much a carbon copy for the Blood Angels one by the looks of it. Except for the Terra icon on his shoulder pad. Let's 
jump back out and have a look at the next chapter. Oops, I didn't want that one. What am I doing there? Main menu. There we go. Next one's Crimson Fists. Now these, oh, I just wanted to quickly check something there. I thought I saw some differences. No. Okay, so Flesh Terrors, uh, Crimson Fists. These are copies of the Imperial Fists. Let's have a quick look here. The Imperial Fists, of course, were our first playthrough. On this channel. And then we went quite well through it as well. It took us a long time. But, you know, a good fun playthrough. I enjoyed that one. All right, let's cycle back to one. So it's been a long time since I've looked at the Imperial Fists. But I would hazard a guess to say well, they get a few more heads than the others do. And that is probably because the Imperial Fists had quite a lot of heads as well. So nine heads with that one. That's not too bad. Body. You've got these rents in the armor on this one. A little, bit, a little bit more battered, I suppose, because they're taking the Imperial Fists as their base rather than one of the initial chapters. They get a few more options, which is a little off, I think. Um, but we'll talk about that in a minute, perhaps. Dornaments. Yeah, again, pretty much pound for pound the Imperial Fists. They have a big red glove, and of course they are lacking their... Um, librarian. They don't have access to a librarian. But they do have access to tarantulas, or at least they're meant to. I understand from talk on the internet that it is currently, yeah, it is currently bugged and they do not have access to the tarantulas, though they are supposed to. But um, we can perhaps forgive full control. It is only now one guy working in his spare time on the game. So let's take a final look at the Angels of Redemption. And see what we get here. And I've got the feeling it's going to be identical to the Dark Angels. Let's have a look. I've got this half and half pattern. So you've got the Hoods, the Rebreather, the Apothecary. And the apothecary with the eyeglass. So you've got the nine helmets again. And then... Got a good selection again for the body. Seven there. And this kind of bizarre armor. We'll get the robes with the heavier cod piece, will we? No, okay. So they've only got one set of robes. As opposed to the dark angels that have a few more. And let's check out the librarian. He gets this fancy toga affair going on. And that's it. Okay. So there you go. That is all that is unique about these um, the add-ons here, the DLC. And I gotta say it kind of it's not good if you like the Nova Marines or the Flesh Terrors because they get screwed over essentially. They get screwed over because they're based on the Ultramarines and the Blood Angels, which have fewer customization options than the Imperial Fists, the Salamanders, the Dark Angels, etc., that were done as DLC rather than being done for the original Space Hulk game. So they lose out in that regard. Whereas the Crimson Fists and the Angels of Redemption have a lot more customization options. And that's important because that's pretty much all that there is in this game. Uh, in this DLC, there's nothing else to it. It's just customization. It's skin deep. So to have those limited options for those two chapters, I feel is a little bit unfortunate to say the least. Really? Let's face it. Um, other than that, yeah. If you particularly like these chapters, the DLC might be worth looking into, but as it stands at full price, no. This DLC is absolutely not worth the money. Um, it's sold as a full piece of DLC, equal to the cost of the chapter packs, 
and it gives you four more chapters to play through but they're all the same and it's just cosmetic changes no that, that's that's not worth the same as say the dark angels dlc or the salamanders or the imperial fists i mean those are good dlc that is good dlc an entirely new chapter and long campaigns whereas these they're just hey look we look pretty we look different if you want to play as the Flesh Terrors, now you can. Look, we've got black arms and black shoulder pads. Woohoo! Or the Imperial, the Crimson Fists with, hey, look, we've got red fists as opposed to yellow armor. Yay! I suppose if you haven't purchased the Dark Angels or the Imperial Fists DLC and you want to have a look at some of what makes them special without actually buying both packs of DLC, it might be worth it. But as it stands, of course, the Crimson Fists are bugged, so they don't get access to the Tarantula turret where they should. So, yeah, unless you can find this on a Steam sale, and I would say a heavy sale at that, this is perhaps one of the DLCs that you want to avoid. Uh, which is a shame, because I'm very supportive of Full Control Studio in the most part. I think they did a fantastic job with Space Hulk Ascension. It's probably one of my most played games of all time. I'm quite willing to say that. As you can see by my channel, I've gone multiple playthroughs of different um, chapters. But this DLC just feels hollow. It feels like a money grab, which I can understand. I mean, the company is in a bad situation at the moment. There's one guy, as I said, doing part time. But still, it's a, it's a sour note to end the game on, I think. And... Just, yeah, just speaking of bugs, etc., I've just noticed that we've got these lovely banners here, but when we go to our new successor chapters, they're stuck all the way up in the top corner there. Somebody align that camera. So, yeah, if you really must have all the DLC, by all means, go and buy it, but best to wait until you get it on discount, on sale somewhere. Other than that, just avoid it. Stick with the main chapter DLC you'll get a far better time for your money well I hope you've enjoyed the look at this DLC um, if you've got any comments any questions please please feel free to contact me by leaving me a message either below the video or on social media all of the links are in the description feel free to like comment subscribe all of that fun stuff and I shall see you again next time bye bye for now